Hello everyone, I am Sumit Goyal and I welcome all of you to Python video series by BISP. Recently, I came across a requirement from one of my clients that uh, they want to integrate Python script with .NET. And I found this an interesting and information topic. Therefore, I decided to share the same with all of you. So in this video, I will be going to tell you that how can we integrate Python with .NET and execute Python script directly from within .NET application either by using command line code or by using Windows application. So in order to integrate Python in with .NET is we need to have a library and that library we call as a Python tool. So the tool which will help to integrate Python with .NET is Python VI tool. So let's look at the tool. That's the tool Python PTVS. It's a Visual Studio 2012. So it's a Python tool 2.1.1 for Visual Studio 2012. You can get the link of this tool to download on your system from the URL given below within this uh, in this video. So because I have already configured it, so I'm, I'm going to cancel it. I have already installed this tool. I have already set up this tool. So once you're done with this tool, we need to start our Visual Studio. So I start my Visual Studio and in that Visual Studio, we'll be going to use this tool. So I click on new project and I'm going to create a new console application. So as I've told you that Python can be integrated or Python, we can use Python integration tool both for console application as well as for desktop application. So in this case, I'm going for console application. So I select console application, choose the location. We can give a name to this or simply click on OK. So it will create a new console application in the environment. After that, we need to add the reference because as you can see here, we, we don't have any reference to integrate with Python or to execute the Python code from within this .NET. So I right click on reference, manage NuGet packages and here I write Python tools, Python tool. You need to search for this Python tool. So you can see here it will list Python tools as well as Iron Python. So I'm going to include both the libraries. First, I'll install the 64-bit Python for used in build scenarios or and also I'm going to set up, I'm going to install Iron Python or add a reference. So first I add Iron Python as a reference. So you can see it, it has been, it added the Iron Python, Iron Python dot module. So these are the references which has been added in the current project. And also I'm going to install Python for 64 bit for use in build scenario. So once all the references has been added, I click on close. So we can make sure that all the references has been added in our under reference directory. So these are the references I was talking about. We have got iron Python and these are the references which would be requiring for this project. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I, I write here, I add the reference using iron python dot hosting. So that's the library or the reference library I have been added. Now in main function, first I'm going to get the input from user console dot write line and please enter a string which you would like to print from Python and console create a variable where input is equal to console dot read line console dot read line then I create a new instance of for Python or for Python engine. So py is equal to Python dot create engine. So we are creating an engine basically. 
so that we can interact with the uh, we, we can use all the functions and the very properties or the behaviors of Python. We can include them or integrate it with our current solution to so create engine. Then I start a try and a catch block. So just in case if anything goes wrong, so it would be able to handle that exception. So catch exception and console dot right line. Ex dot message dot to string message dot to string and here uh, the variable the string whatever whatever string which we pass and store into the input input so I'm going to use so I'm going to pass the value of this variable into by using this Python uh, the instance of this Python engine and then it will execute then in Python we have a print statement we have a print function which will help us to print uh, anything on the editor so I'm going to use that print function here so I write py dot execute and use this print statement should be go within double quotes print and I write from should be going single quotes from Python just to display that it is going from Python is coming from Python so that's the syntax so what it will do it will simply pass the input in the print function of Python and finally when we're done with this I again get console dot right line press enter to exit and console dot read line. let's test this code so it's a very simple code so in order to test this I simply click on start so as soon as I start it you can see it says it, it gives me a message please enter a string which would you like to print from Python so right here welcome to BISP and as soon as I press enter I got a message from Python welcome to BISP now as you can see here I haven't used console dot right line to print this to print the message I'm using print statement and this print statement exists in Python and this would be executing by using by, by because of by this by the instance of this create engine of Python so let's modify this more and instead of executing a single simple statement I would like to execute a Python script so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one Python script by going into Python engine by using Python editor so I have already done that you can see it's a Python file it's a script Python script extension as py and if we open this script it simply contains a message welcome to BISP or we can customize it instead of welcome to BISP we can say Python integration with .NET video and if I simply execute it I'll simply get a message Python integration with video dot net video. similar so I want to execute this Python script from within my dot net so it's pretty simple I simply eliminate the existing code and instead of execute I write py dot execute file because we want to execute a file so I write the file execute file and the location so it's on my C drive Python 27 ABC dot py you need to provide the complete URL complete path of that file and because we are going to execute the file so let's test it so I simply run it I simply press F5 I got a message please enter a string would you like to print from Python this is just just a dummy string even if you if you simply press a or any symbol I simply type a it doesn't matter because I'm not going to read this I'm going to read the date uh, I'm going to read display this statement or this line which uh, exists in this abc.py script 
and as soon as I press enter, it executes the file, it, it, it runs the file, it executes the file, and whatever it contains in the file, it simply run it. So you see, I'm getting a message, Python integration with .NET Video. So this statement is coming from this abc.py. So here I have given my local system URL for local path. You know, instead of that, you can add this file in this in the current application, and then you can use the instead of using abc.py, you can simply use abc.py. But, but but first of all, we need to add that file, existing file. We need to add, add this into our solution. Python 27, and we need to add this file abc.py so I add this file here. so we can add the file in our current application as well. and then we can add it or instead of this we can simply give any URL as well for example if your app if your script resides on a location on a server so you can give your server URL as well so that's how we can integrate Python with .NET and we can execute the commands, execute the statements from the, uh, by using Python, Python functions and modules. So that's all in this video. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. If that's so, please don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and don't forget to press like button. If you have any queries, you can write to us on www.bsptrainings.com. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.